We're going to get started. Good on my... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> is that who we are? <laughs> yes, uh, kinda... that is who we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Said you're a little loud. Let me see. Just one, second, one more second so I can turn our mic up a little bit. Let's see. But that was before we went off the mic. Yeah, he said, just said it. He said she's still a little louder. I'm, I'm loud. He said, he said we're good. We're good? Okay, cool. All right. All right. All right. So we're here. Conversations with Brian and Karen. <laughs> with Speaking Sasha Rose Sasha Love. Rose love. Wow. Thank y'all for being patient. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> Thank y'all. So we're going to talk about Tantric Touch, right? Mm hmm. All right. Tell yes. us about yourself, who you are, where you're from, and your background, all of that. How'd you get into this good, juicy stuff? Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm Sasha Rose Love. I'm from Austin, Texas. We are live from my tantric table. And um, let's see. I started this process almost five years ago. I um, basically was in a really long marriage of over a decade. And uh, we didn't do anything to nurture our um, our connection, especially our sexuality. Uh -huh. So at the end of a decade-long uh, marriage with many children in the midst, um, we really had found that we had basically no sex life. And uh, when we ended our marriage, I really believed that I wasn't sexy, I wasn't beautiful, I lost my mojo. I had lost it all. And um, the pathway to me finding and getting back in touch with myself um, started with Tantra. Mm. And so I started studying sexuality, I started studying um, orgasmic meditation, uh, and, and I really started getting into the, the importance of it. And I realized that my whole body had actually shut down from years of not getting the right touch, not being in a nurturing relationship, um, not being connected. My body had shut down um, and and I needed it to be awake again. So I started the path of Tantra, yeah. Okay. So it's been a long path for me, um, but uh, every year gets better and better. I continue to learn more, and uh, a few years ago, uh, about three and a half, almost four years ago, I started, I started sharing what I had learned with so many others because I saw many women and men who were in the same position that I had been. Okay. Or even... Even, even on other ends, yeah. So let's just dive in. I, I think there's so many people who can relate to your story who are married, who are divorced, uh, who were in relationships um, that may not have, have led to marriage or involved a marriage, but you know have found themselves in circumstances, even if they're single and their bodies have shut down from lack of the kind of touch you're referring to. So... Tell those people how they can awaken their bodies through tantric touch and also how they can awaken and enliven their relationships using tantric touch. Yay. This is my, one of my favorite <laughs> things to talk about. Um, you know, just something that I, I think that it's important to kind of recognize is, you know, we'll put years of time and energy into our careers, right? We'll go to right. college. We'll go get a law degree, right? We'll, we'll put years in time. And, and when we become parents, you know, if that's what we decide to do, we put lots of time into that. We read books. We go to classes. But when it comes to our sexuality and oftentimes our relationships, we somehow have gotten the idea in our heads that we don't have to put any work into it, yeah. that it's just supposed to happen. And then if it doesn't happen, something's wrong. Right. It must be my partner. It must be me. Something's wrong with me. Um, but really we just need to recognize that just like everything else in your life if you want to be successful if you want to grow if you want to enhance your life in some way you want to put some time and effort into it yeah definitely. um so i have ooh, you got loud hold on oh sorry <laughs> okay so <laughs> so um you know i've had clients come to me who have been in monogamous relationships for 20 years and um, I've had men who come in with their partner and they say you know we have erectile dysfunction or something like that 
and um, I'll do some work with them, and I'll, I'll say, you know, actually, we don't. But a monogamous marriage with very little effort into it can kind of put it, you know, can kind of, I don't know, kill any boner, really, for the most part. Yeah. You've got to put work and effort into it, which is why I'm so excited about this retreat that we're, we're doing together because, because these are people who have recognized that it takes work, and they're taking the steps to put the effort into it. Yeah. So... We know that touch is important. We know that touch is important. Yeah. You know, we know that babies who aren't touched enough, they won't grow. They will failure to thrive. They won't. They won't develop uh, mentally and physically as well as babies who are touched and nurtured. There's plenty of research that shows this. Yeah. We're born needing touch. We grow inside a womb, inside a belly, touched, and then we're held and we're caressed. Those needs for touch don't go away what happens is we learn to just kind of release attachment to it. We just release the need for it. We just kind of push it away and say, oh, I don't really need it. But that's not true. What happens is uh, I did some uh, I did some study with the monks in oh, really? Thailand. Nice. And they, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're celibate. So, so this was an interesting topic for me specifically. <laughs> I had to ask them. You know, and we did. We had this. I, I, I took this course of Vipassana with the monk, and in the end, we got to ask him personal, any questions. Nothing was off the table. And so, of course, you know me. Uh -huh. I asked about the celibacy thing. And how do we get to that point? You know, how do we actually get to that point? And he said that it's not that he doesn't have desires, it's just that after so long of a time, he has learned how to meditate through those desires mm -hmm. to where they know really affect him or come up for him as often anymore. Interesting. Right? So we do this, yeah, we do the same to our bodies. We basically, the, the more that we, um, that we deny ourselves the touch uh, that we want, that our bodies are needing, then the more our bodies start to shut down. So really, the awakening of our bodies, the first step is just acknowledging, hey, I'm ready to do some work here. I'm ready to put some time and effort into my body, into learning my body, into sharing my body, um, and into maybe overcome stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, I work with women who have had trauma as well, and muscle memory is a thing. And um, before I became a tantric goddess, um, I was a midwife for over a decade, and I helped women deliver babies. I helped oh, them wow. give birth. And, yeah. And uh, we know that trauma can play a role um, in our life, period. We can hold it in our bodies. We can hold it in our cells. And I would find women uh, who would come in to give birth, sometimes women who had, been, who had been hurt or who had some type of trauma in their life found that their bodies wouldn't function it wouldn't open for the baby mm. sometimes. Yeah. And that's why we need to go in there and get that epidural sometimes. We needed to get that epidural because yeah. it would relax the lower part of her body and she would overcome, be able to not feel that sensation as, as heavily anymore and her body would open. So not yeah. all women, of course, but we know that this, that this trauma, we can hold it in our bodies and it can affect and it can affect our, our intimacy with one another as well. So, so what's the difference between... Just some of the studies that... It, Tantric touch and just touch that most people are familiar with. Um, well, there's a couple of different things. One is, uh, you know, a lot of us touch one another for our pleasure. We touch one another, um, you know. Oh, I want to touch her breasts. Oh, oh, I want to touch his body. You know. So, um, so one, the so one of the main things that I do when I start to teach um, about tantric touch is I encourage them to slow it down to, to touch to do what? for and and to really like put an intention am I touching this person for her pleasure or his pleasure or am I touching it for my pleasure mm. you know and that's a difference so so once we get the intention behind there you know then when we want when we decide we want to touch them for their pleasure then we're going to be listening to their bodies to tell us what really feels good. Mm. And when we are just touching each other, we know, oh, well, if I go for that spot, I know it, it works, right? Yeah. 
So 10,000 nerve endings in the clitoris. Yes, that's beautiful. So happy about that. You know, six to 8,000 in the tip of the penis. But how many more nerve endings on the rest of the body? Mm -hmm. So many. We've got an entire blank canvas of touch that we can explore. And so um, part of what I teach with tantric touch is just slowing down and making when we make love, making it more of a, a full body experience rather than just going for the juicy spots. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. we know we can get to orgasm that way, right? <laughs> we know we can get to pleasure that way, but we're missing out on a lot. And yeah. when we touch the whole body, then we actually increase the sensations in all the rest of our bodies. Nice. So it sounds so, like from what. One of my favorite. Go ahead. It's okay. I, th I think we're Go like ahead. just just uh, a couple almost, seconds. Yeah, but it, it sounds like what you're saying mm -hmm. that kind of the first part is the intention. Am I engaging in order to just bring pleasure to myself? Which of course, obviously, that's part of it. But is my touch designed to bring something to him or bring something to myself? So really, it's about the intention first of the partners, of, of each member yeah. of, of the partners. It really is. Yeah. And then the next part of it is, I guess, being fully present. So you're engaging or or open to engaging every part of the body instead of just being um, genitally focused. I would say the first part is one, just acknowledging, hey, we are going to take some time to learn one another's bodies, right? And, 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 and Karen, I know you two have been together forever, but I, I, and you guys do a lot to explore in your lives. Uh, um, but I have worked with couples who um, we start this process together, and um, I've had, you know, someone tell me before, oh, we've been married for. 15 years and that's the most time I've ever spent on my wife's clit you know it's really wow. just about really like recognizing did we take time for this or are we just going through the motions hmm. you know of yeah. getting our needs met so that's why the intention is so important are you touching her for her pleasure or are you touching it because you know that's going to make it get to a point where you're going to get your needs met. Yeah. So, yeah, it's the intention of, of recognizing, okay, now I'm going to take this time and space. We're not even going to worry about getting all the way to the climax. We're just going to take the time to get to know your lover's body or one another's bodies and yeah. find out where those sensitive spots are because everybody's different. So one of the main ways, one of the first ways that I use to increase oh, one of my techniques in yeah. order to increase sensation, right? Uh -huh. We we take away one. The sight, vision. vision. I blindfold him. Vision, yeah. Because we rely upon our sense of sight so deeply. Um, but yet, if we take away that one, it actually increases all the other senses. Mm. So... Um, so just some fun tips for, 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 for some of those folks at home who are like, I'm interested in this Tantra Touch. How can I get a little bit more into it? How can I start dipping my toe in? Yeah. You know, pull, out, pull out the sexy silk scarf, light some candles, and, and set the intention to take a time. You know, you can even set a timer. For the next 20 to 30 minutes, I'm going to touch you for your pleasure. I'm going to follow your body. I'm going to try and touch every single part of your body. To see where your where your where your zones are, where your erogenous zones are, what kind of touch, and then you can play with the different types of touch. You guys have played with this before. You know how I love the elemental touch. We have the earth, the grounding touch. Yeah. You know, and the, the 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 fire touch. Right, right. Wake it up. <laughs> and then we have the really soft, smooth water touch. Right, really soft. And then we have air. And so playing with different types of touch. I will tell with um, with hetero couples, um, men, you're almost always touching her too heavily. You're almost always touching her. Your fingers are too heavy. Lighten your touch, lighten your touch, lighten your touch. Because people have gotten this idea of a little is good, then a lot must be better, right? 
<laughs> but with Tantra, we recognize that the lighter the touch can sometimes actually increase the sensations even more. It can wake yeah. up the body even more. It's so, so funny because I've been, I've been, I've been learning that. Yeah, I, I've been learning that because, you know, of course, we're not taught that. So, you know, Karen will tell me all the time, you know, lighter, softer, easier, you know, slower, slower. <laughs> and, you know, um, she calls me a bull in the strange. China shop sometimes because I'm always like, you know, always going so fast. And she's like, slow down, <laughs> slow down. So what I've started practicing on her is is actually trying to touch her as softly as possible on different parts of her body, on different parts of her private parts you know <laughs> just everywhere just kind mm -hmm. of just touching as softly and lightly as possible and actually seeing how much pleasure i can bring her with as little touch as possible and it's just an amazing thing you know? yeah and so what that's done for me i think it's is, working <laughs> what it's done for me is that it's caused me it's helped me to be able to really focus because if somebody is touching you, you know, it, it's a hard touch. Well, you don't really need to be very present to, to notice that or to be aware of it. Mm. But if somebody's touching you really lightly, like you have to really like focus on where they're touching, you know, to, to, to feel it, to ask yourself, oh, how does this feel? Wow, this feels amazing. And mm. he, even like, even like some, like sometimes I'll tell him, okay, like, don't touch me at all. Like, you know, stay in that area, but don't touch me at all. And let me see if I can feel it. And it's like, I'll feel the energy of it, even though he's not physically touching me. And that's just like, you know, an insane experience, you know, being touched without mm -hmm. being touched. So yeah, I mean, that's a, a great, a great practice. So, witness, yes. yes. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, true that's beautiful. <laughs> I could tell her face lit up the minute you started talking about it. <laughs> I could tell it's working. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, I love so, you guys. So we, we're going to explore this at our retreat, right? You're going to take people mm -hmm. through different levels of touch and different, you know. We are. We're going to get. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We're going to get juicy. We're going to play. We're going to play. We're going to we're going to bring our blindfolds and we're going to take time to touch one another and um, we're gonna you know encourage us to you know go beyond our comfort zone of you know just touching you know each other if you're partnered or or if you're single you know as well just also exploring the touch with others like a woman can tell the difference between a touch from a man and a woman and mm. and and so let's explore that too you know so we're gonna really create a safe space so that we can explore um, non-sexual in the beginning, non-sexual touch, just increasing the sensations and experiencing the touch from different people. And that will make such a difference for all of us, for everybody, because we don't get that opportunity in our yeah. life to really experience touch from others, especially if we're in these committed relationships. We have experienced touch with one another. And so this is a way to just kind of explore a little bit more, because if you can tell, if you can have experience touch from another, you can also learn how to share that same. You're like, oh, wow, that felt really good. I yeah. want to try that, right? Oh, now I know what she's saying. She said softer. I didn't get it until I felt it softer, mm. until I felt yes. what she really meant with the soft, you know, with the barely there touch. Yeah. We do air touch, you know, air, air touch as well, where it's just barely there. I've had an airgasm. <laughs> before from just the air <laughs> just people blowing in my ear blowing on my body I mean just wow me up into what? the sky yeah nice that's so cool mm -hmm. so so cool um so how does this interact with our balance and our chakras does it help balance us does it help keep us in line and move blockages like how does it work with the Touch. In other words, emotionally, mentally, yeah. psychologically, mm. all of those things. Yeah. Oh, there's a little delay. Here's a delay. It's fine. Can you... um, okay, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, so like I was saying, with the the um, 
the trauma that we can hold in our bodies, women can hold it in their yoni from, you know, previous trauma. Uh, we can hold it in the rest of our body too. Um, you you ever been you know you ever been somewhere and 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 you know you know you needed to speak up you know something's happening you're not really comfortable you you know but you know you need to speak up, right yeah, but yeah. you just can't you can't quite catch in and you'll feel it in your throat yeah like a you'll lump you'll feel in your, your throat. throat your throat will get tight or throat yeah that's muscle memory that's just yeah. muscle and we can carry that on for a long time and it can hinder us from being able to really open our throat chakra and tap in and really speak our truth sometimes. Um, so, so what we do with the, what I show, what I like to teach is how to use sensual, not necessarily sexual, but how to use energy in general, actually. It doesn't even have to be sexual or something. Right. Uh, how to use energy to clear those blockages that we may have in our body. And we have, you know, we have lots of chakras, but we, we focus on the main ones. Um, you know, the, the um, crown chakra, our third eye chakra, our throat chakra, our heart chakra, uh, you know, our, our, our gut, our intuition, you know, our, and then our root chakra, all of that, our sacral chakra and our root chakra. All of those are so important to us. You know, if you ever had your heart broken, you felt it in your chest. Your heart hurt, you know, it physically yeah. hurt. Same thing with your, with your belly, right? You ever been in some place and you're like, ooh. I don't know, something feels off. My belly yeah. hurts, you know, I feel something aching in my belly. Your body is so wise. Mm. Our body is so wise and it really is, it, it holds the key to unlock our bliss, mm. our, our, our happiness, our, our dreams, you know, and we can hide that stuff yeah. really deep inside of our bodies to where, just like the monk, he no longer accesses that desire for sex. In his body anymore he has learned how to shut it down well we have done that to ourselves unknowingly and un you know we don't want to do it we're we're, yeah. we're doing it on accident just by denying ourselves those things for so long to the point where sometimes it's so far down in there we don't even know what it is that we really want and so Tantra um, for me and and ideally for everybody that I share it with um, re really helps us connect to our true self, yeah. our, our deepest desires. Everything that we need to be happy is inside of our body. The wisdom is there, and we just have to learn how to tap into it. So nice. I'm really well, excited to be able to share that with you guys. Okay, well, cool. Someone's asking when the retreat is, and so the retreat is October 11th through the 16th in Destin, Florida, beautiful Destin, Florida. Actually, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be during the break, we're going to show uh, the video, the promo for the retreat, so people can see what it's all about, where we're going to be, and then we'll come back and have a few more questions, all right? Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Uh huh. One second. Everybody, Brian and Karen here, here in beautiful Destin, Florida. Guess what we're doing? <laughs> we're here to check out the retreat property, check out the private beach. Uh, it has private beach access. Yes. We it's... just finished touring the retreat site. We'll show you a little bit of it. But I'm personally overwhelmed. I mean, we knew it was spectacular. We've seen the pictures. We've seen 3Ds. We've seen everything. And seeing it in up person, close and personal. The energy of the house, the rooms, the attention to detail oh. is just amazing. This is going to be the most amazing retreat. And we're not just saying that. Just being here is, is yeah we're, we're like okay how can we express we can't to them express, like what yeah. it is they're going to be receiving and yeah we put as many pictures up as we could yeah. videos but i'm telling you it doesn't do it justice how beautiful this property we're literally right across it's hard to even say across the street but we have to cross the street but i'll show you but the beach is right behind us but here is a private 
walkway. And there's the property right over there. So you want to walk and talk? Sure. All right. All right. right. But the beach is amazing. The weather is great. We talked to the yeah. property managers and they told us that the weather in October is amazing. It says the best time of year to come. You would think it would be cold or cool, but they said the water's great. They said the water's calm and warm. Yeah. And Pick up your step, please. <laughs> I, I, I was following you. Oh, you following my lead? Okay. Exactly. I guess I'm leading. My fault. <laughs> I guess I wasn't walking fast enough. No, not your usual. The beach in the background y'all isn't that amazing <sighs> man we're actually going to go back to the beach now we're hungry we need to grab something really quick and get back to the beach it is beautiful it was sunny out early here started raining a little bit and now the, the, the sky is clear as you can see we're about to arrange with the concierge for all of the excursions and yes yes yeah, yeah. dinner cruise and the cruise like that. potentially renting a pontoon boat and going out on the ocean. So a boat dock, like yeah. a 52 foot boat yeah. yacht dock at, yes. the, uh, um, at the house. Yeah. Ready, baby? Yeah. So we're going to have fun. We're going to relax. We're going to just heel we're going to play we have a theater room we're going to watch movies we're going to go in the pool the heated pool there's a jacuzzi man <laughs> no, man nice. what is this retreat again i know right <laughs> <laughs> we need this retreat to come like asap <laughs> but retreat if you haven't heard is october the 11th through the 16th called the art of Sac sacred sexuality retreat our beach retreat in Destin Florida Destin Florida it's going to be really 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 amazing ain't she beautiful <laughs> isn't she lovely <laughs> <Probably quiet. laughs> so very very uh, very nice neighborhood people are very nice I met a few people met somebody actually from Georgia live around the corner from where we live yeah small Pretty, world yeah, small world balconies everywhere the views from the balcony to the beach is just stunning just stunning Give you 360 view beach right there Beach access, proper beach access, the code to get to the beach. change transformed this is the place to be it's not a sales pitch I'm telling you gotta be here yeah I'm almost speechless and as Brian can tell you that doesn't happen very often <laughs> so yeah we are ready now can't wait to see you in October yes see y'all soon we love you all bye say bye
All right, all right. We are back. We are back. Let's see if we got everything back on, audio back on. Let's see. Can y'all hear us out there? Can hear you. All right. Let's see. Make sure we're back. Hear me? I can hear you. I can yes. hear you also. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Everything's cool. We'll double check. <laughs> so that's our amazing retreat in October, October 11th through the 16th. And um, we have a few spots, like a couple spots left. So if you want to get in, we actually have a, a non-published special. If you're listening, you can reach out to Sasha and she'll explain, she'll give you the details of that. And we actually have uh, reach out to us if you can't reach out. But let me find out how can I get in touch with you, Sasha? Let me see. What's your website? Uh, you come to my website, awakenbliss.me. Um, you can also contact me, Sasha Rose at awakenbliss.me. There you go. There's my number. And um, contact me if you're interested in finding out more and you're ready to start your tantric practice. That's my goal is to help you start your tantric practice so that you can get the most bliss, happiness, great sex, lots of orgasms that you're looking for that you really want in your life. Nice. And I, like um, I work with, yeah, and, I, and I think it's important to also um, tell you guys that I also uh, work with just non-sexual. I do, you know, people, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to take my clothes off. That's fine. That's right. perfect. I actually yeah. start a lot of our sessions, most of it all starts with our clothes on, just learning how to tap into those energetic centers, those chakras, learning how to move energy through. So, you know, you can start this process without, you know, quite getting quite as juicy as we are going to be going. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> so, um, I guess before we close out, how has, I know you said how it transformed your life, how to transform some of your clients? Like, what are some of the testimonials they say about how they're different now, you know, after experiencing like tantric touch and other tantric methods that you do? Um, I've got some really great stories. Uh, I've got some really great stories of people who have gone to every other person, um, especially uh, men and women who have had um, problems with. You know, um, erectile dysfunction and, you know, trauma in yeah. And yeah, that it's tapped of you know, uh, uh, people who are uh, hmm. okay. yeah. I hear you. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, I'm gonna ignore yes. that little thing. I don't know what that uh -huh. is. Um, but you know, they can come in and just I do cuddle sessions as well. So just recognizing that touch is important, you guys. Don't go on through your life saying that I don't need it or I'll find it eventually when I find Miss or Mrs. Right. You know, finding ways to uh, connect and, and receive the touch that we need now is important, and finding ways to really deeper in our bodies now. So I also work with, um, I have clients who deal with uh, depression. Okay. Um, and, and and that is something that has really helped them as well, get regular messages and, you know, just just that it's helped them turn around. You know, they're, they're, they're nice. in a place where they're, they're working on them. Um, and they just need to be able to find some place where they can actually get platonic touch, you know, or, or even sexual touch, but just to make sure that they acknowledge that within themselves. It makes a big difference, you know, from feeling like I'm lonely, nobody loves me, I don't want to live, to, mm. wow, I, I got a really good session. Endorphins are flowing, serotonin, oxytocin, all of these good things are so good for your body and heart and for your mind and for your soul. So, 
So yeah, I um, love to, to share eyes and and I'm looking forward to sharing. Florida Netflix and I know that there's a special for, for my friends, right? So my yes, friends, your friends need to call me up. They need to hit me up because they set aside some special for for guys to think you come and share this experience with me. Uh, almost every retreat that I've ever been to decide that we're going to take this time, this is important to us, is always life-changing. So I know you guys have got some good people coming to share uh, their gifts as well. So I'm really excited, and I know it's going to be really good. Thank you guys so much. Uh, no problem. Someone had a question. Do you work remotely? Oh. I do. Yes, I do. I do like this. We work on okay. a program. I can help you. Um, you know, basically with the on camera, just like we're doing now, guide you through. Nice, and you have good you results from me. doing remote. Some people feel they can't because they're not in front of you that they can't feel anything, but we know that differently. Energy is there's no distance to that, you know. So. Right, right, right. A lot of what I do actually um, in the beginning is is just is just a teaching how to how to move energy and breath, and and everybody, in my opinion. And you know, I, I I do like to research, and there's science behind this. Everybody would benefit from having a self pleasure practice, and that yeah. is one thing that is really easy to teach uh, online. Mm. It's a self pleasure practice because when it's when when there's two people, when it's you and me, you know, and when 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 there's two people, there's um, energy. But when you learn that self pleasure practice on your own, you can focus just on your energy, as opposed to there's two people it's definitely a lot more um, to learn to be able to focus and stuff so everybody everybody should have a good self pleasure opinion hey I like Sa that go ahead <laughs> Sasha it's, it sounds like um, I mean you mentioned people who have erectile dysfunction men who have erectile dysfunction women who aren't orgasming but it sounds to me like what you're teaching could take a couple or individuals who don't have kinds of problems to a whole different level in their relationships. Yes, yes. Like I said, this is something that don't, we don't put, put a ton on it until it's bad, until we're at the point where things are falling apart. And then, and then you want to come to me and, and you know, we can do only so much at that point. But there's yeah. so much beyond just touch. You know, it's not just in the fingers and the, and the body. You know, we really have to tap into the, the heart, the emotional, you know, the spiritual, everything, in order to really touch one another, we really have to go beyond physical touch. So, so start, you know, ideally we're putting time and attention into that regularly in our relationships because, yeah, um, unfortunately, too many people wait to come see me. Yeah. And we're in the red zone. You know, I'm like a last ditch effort, I have to say, and a lot of people because they're they're like, I don't know, I don't want to go here. I'm scared, you know, I'm gonna talk about sex, but you know. Um, yeah. so yeah, so I would put some maintenance. This is this is you know, put this on your on your list. This is so important. It's just so important. Touch and sexuality is so important in our lives. Um and and I'm really glad that we have this community that's open and, and the year after year it becomes more and more acceptable. People are really recognizing how important it is and what a big difference it can make. Yeah, so cool. We can't wait to the retreat. We know you have some goodies you're gonna bring in this safe environment. I mean, for anyone that wants more information about our retreat, the website is on the screen, sacredsexualityretreat.com. Those of you that follow Sasha, she has some goodies for you, a treat for you, a special for you if you want to come out to the retreat and uh, y'all reach out to her. If you have any questions, reach out to us, visit our site. There's a little chat box on there. We'll answer any questions you have and we'll be happy to see you at the retreat. We only have a few spots left, so we'll be happy to have you. Anything else you have, baby? Yeah, that Sasha will also be offering private sessions at yes. the retreat at a special retreat price. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So if you want to be able to take advantage from some of her energy work and tantra practices, you can get that at the retreat or reach out to her uh, before that. But the retreat is going to be an amazing place to be able to have sessions with all of our, mm -hmm. you know, presenters um, potentially. So we'll be we're excited 
about this retreat and we're so excited less than two months and we'll be there in beautiful Destin, Florida on the beach enjoying fun in the sun so anything else you have baby nothing else for me what wow. about you Sasha anything else you want to share I'm great I'm happy I'm so thankful to you guys thank you so much for creating this space and offering all of this to these people I really I'm excited I can't wait to see what we what we bring together nice nice all right so I guess we'll end Woo! that was a rough start <laughs> We got it on in though. By next week's show though, all these cakes smooth will be sailing. worked out. <laughs> smooth <Yeah>. sailing. <laughs> so, um, so y'all stay tuned. We'll be sharing who I'm not sure who we have next week. Uh are we next week? No, we're Wednesday. Actually, oh. we're being interviewed on Wednesday by our retreat coordinator. So you guys have any questions for us, we'll be answering any questions you guys have. And I believe it's Antonio oh, next yeah. Sunday. Yeah, I believe it's in October mm. next Sunday. So he's going to be talking about He's an amazing Tantra practitioner, and he's going to bring some good juiciness to the retreat and to our call next week. So y'all stay tuned. We thank y'all for joining in. Apologize again for all the technical issues. We're going to work through it together. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Antonio. Okay, Antonio's Wednesday. Our, um, our coordinator said. So Antonio is Wednesday. So we'll let y'all know. We'll send it out to the list. We'll post it on Facebook. Uh, uh, we'll let you know exactly what time it's going to be I think 8 o'clock on Wednesday but we'll let you know definitely so we love you all love you Sasha thank you so much for joining us so so much love you thank you thank you talk to you soon bye 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 mm -hmm.